Before we head to the road train assembly area, Doug Gould is going to show us around town. Kalgoorlie, Western Australia, capital of the Goldfields region, and a town built on gold more than a century ago. Today, it's still driven by that same metal. It's a city full of extraordinary history, where early 20th century buildings jostle for attention with the new. Kalgoorlie is a decent six hour drive east of Perth, or a little over an hour by plane. Back in 1893 though, when Paddy Hannan and his two mates, Tom Flanagan and Daniel Shea, discovered gold near Mount Charlotte, the same sort of trek took almost a week. The Super Pit is a massive gold mine right on the eastern edge of town. Eventually it will stretch approximately four kilometres in length, one and a half kilometres across and reach a depth of half a kilometre. Operated by Kalgoorlie Consolidated Gold Mines Proprietary Limited, this mine produces up to 850,000 ounces of gold every year and its operations far outweigh any other mining centre in Australia. In fact, the Super Pit is Australia's largest open pit gold mine. In this community, yellow is the preferred colour. Not just below the ground, but above it as well. This is Caterpillar Country. Doug Gould likes a bit of colour coordination, and he reckons he's hit pay dirt with his Kenworth trucks and Caterpillar engines. G'day, yeah, I'm Doug Gould, Gould Transport, Kalgoorlie, West Australia. And, um, we run uh, road trains here, mainly on ore haulage, uh, local mines. We, uh, as part of the contracts, we maintain and haul our own, uh, load our own ore and um, construct and maintain our own roads. I own a drive here, come to Western Australia from North East Victoria. Uh, first Kenworth was in 94, I think. Uh, been a few through the place since then. Uh, we have about, um, I think we've got 11, 11 prime movers at the moment. Uh, it's around 40 trailers of their own. We typically employ about uh, six or seven subcontractors uh, with road trains and various other bits of gear. Um, we're currently running about seven loaders and a couple of graders. So it comes back to the, the caterpillar issue there too. The, their back, back up in, um, in the earth moving side which has been pretty good between Komatsu and Caterpillar. So, um, yeah, we're pretty well stuck with that, that combination here. Komatsu loaders, caterpillar graders and uh, caterpillar engines in the trucks and uh, only came with trucks. You've got to have some sort of standardisation. Yeah, the three and a half trailer concept is um, we started that uh, around about seven years ago. Um, that's pretty well the standard now. Uh, the next step is another nine and a half pull coming in a couple of weeks, and it's got four full trails. So there's another another triaxle group in the um, in the train, which will take the gross weight to 194 tonnes. It'll be running on uh, Suzy Planetary um, Drive. Yeah, well, the, the reason we've stuck with Kenworth is the service network and backup um, and resale value. Uh, also, we just like the trucks, <laughs> they're good trucks, and um, some of our older ones, well over 40,000 hours now, and still have. Uh, as good availability as they did for the new, so and there's just no reason to change. In Doug's mind, the Kenworth truck is, how about we just let Doug say for himself? Yeah, they're, they're um, as good a truck as you can get anyway, I believe, in Australia. So typically they do around 400,000 k's a year, uh, and not all of the roads are, are that flash. So, um, I think that's pretty well speech itself. They're clocking up around about six and a half thousand engine hours a year, so uh, you know, they, they need to be pretty good. 
The Caterpillar C16 engines that Doug specs for his trucks provide proven reliability, outstanding fuel economy and unparalleled performance. Yeah, the Caterpillar uh, C16 is uh, a later model truck. We've actually done a few, uh, three, four repairs with uh, C16s, um, trying to standardise in the fleet. Yeah, they seem to be going pretty well. There's nothing in uh, fuel economy between the K9Es and Signature or C16s, it's, uh, it's about backup. Um, not even the product, I think at times uh, one product against the next is there's not a uh, great variance there, but it's, uh, it's all about service and backup for us in a remote area. These engines are built to withstand tough hauls, and out here, reliability is everything. The West Track is the Western Australian uh, arm of uh, Caterpillar and you know, we've had a very good service out of them. Their, their network stretches pretty well right through the state and um, uh, when we have had issues that they're addressed in a, a timely manner and uh, we get the thing back on the road as quickly as we can.